today's topic is the art of overcoming objections. But I want you to pay attention to the mindset. And so much of overcoming objections is mindset, whether it be our mindset and the way that we think versus the prospect's mindset. Is it a customer that we're dealing with? Is it a lead that we're dealing with? Because especially in real estate, throughout the entire transaction, we have a lot of different different times that we can we get we will need to overcome the objection is the objection coming from another agent is it coming from a, a seller prospect a buyer prospect is it coming from a negotiation and from contract to close so there's a lot of different parts of this but i believe that we can we can cover all the different parts with just a few just a few pointers and so that's uh because it comes down to um many different things but really as we're going to get into it today you're going to see that you don't need to know everything. You just need to know what we're going to cover today and the basis of it all that encompasses. And I think it's going to help you a lot. I'll give you an example of what I mean by this. Because so much of whether we are taking action, whether we're, we're making our prospecting calls, we're solving the prospect's problem, so much of that is within, right here. It's within our own mindset. I was talking to a gentleman today, a gentleman that I've coached for many years, and he um, – he was he was struggling. He was in a funk with prospecting, a prospecting funk. And sometimes, you know, he in this case, this gentleman, he's got to stay consistent. Otherwise, what? The weeds overtake the garden, like it does with a lot of people. So they can't stop. You just got to continue doing it. And, and I said, I said it's interesting because you know, whenever you whenever you hit that wall and you don't want to make another call, you start telling yourself this story of like feeling less than, feeling like. You don't have the skills. You don't have what it takes. And I want you to know that you are the best at what you do. You can take everybody in your entire town, and you're the best prospector on the phone, hands down. And he is. But why does he self-sabotage like that? If he's the best at what he does, why does he tell himself the stories that prevent him from doing the action? Why? Well, as we're going to learn today, a lot of this stuff comes down to our own mindset. And how we think about ourselves, how we think about the solutions that we offer, how we think about the industry that we're in will determine how we overcome objections. That's why it's an art. I don't think that we always, we just master the objections today. I think it's an art. I think it's the objections will come in many different, in many different ways. Uh, but like in his cases, you got to start with your own thinking. You got to start with your mindset of thinking that, look, how do I, you have to do this. You have to make the calls. You've got to be able to learn how to overcome objections. Because if we don't know how to overcome objections in real estate, we're going we're gonna to get re feel resistance everywhere, aren't we? From the time that we're generating the leads, trying to convert the lead, trying to get them to meet with us, to now they're a customer, and now we're negotiating with the, uh, the other buyer, the other seller, the other agent. How do we bring all that together? So as we cover it today, I think that this is going to help you in many different ways. 